Hi guys and welcome to my last video of 2013 and it is this punk rock New Year's Eve kind of studded rhinestone winged out look. I think it's so fun. Um, and if you are interested in how to get this look, just keep watching. Alright guys, so the um, foundation that I'm going to use today is my Revlon Age Defying DNA Advantage uh, foundation. Mine is in buff. And the reason I'm using this is because it's got a very subtle shimmer to it. Like, nobody's going to notice that there's glitter in your foundation because that would be weird. But um, I just think for New Year's it's kind of nice to have that little extra glow. So I'm just going to put that on all over my face per usual. And I'm really kind of bummed. I wanted to do this tutorial for you guys yesterday when we actually had our New Year's Eve party. Um, we had to have it a little early because um, everybody was working New Year's Eve night. Um, so we had it last night, but I was literally cleaning until the first person showed up. So there was no time to do any fun um, makeup for me. I basically just had to throw on um, concealer and mascara and that was about it for me. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, a corrector under my eyes because obviously we had people over very late last night. Um, I'm using this orange color to combat any um, darkness under my eyes. And I know this looks scary right now, like it makes me look sick and weird, but um, you put your foundation, brightener, you know, your other stuff over it and it just, um, it basically acts as a corrector. So I'm going to go ahead and do my under eye just so you guys don't have to look at the weird orange cast under my eyes, but um, normally I would do this later when people aren't staring at my face. So I'm using... Um, Eye Bright, which is just a um, an under eye highlighter that I got from Coastal Scents, and mine is an ivory. I'm also going to use this Eye Bright as my primer for today um, because I'm not actually going out and doing anything. Obviously, for New Year's Eve, you want to use your your best eyeshadow primer, whatever works best for your eyelids. And that's good for now to just, so you guys don't have to see orange. Now I'm going to use shadow shields because I'm working with black eyeshadow which will get all over your face. And I chose to do black because I feel like it's very classic, um, it's very, you know, stereotypical New Year's Eve kind of thing. Um, it's very universal for outfits, for skin tones. Um, but I think this eye look will look awesome with other colors. Like I was thinking midnight blue would look amazing, like navy. But it also looked great with purple or green or you know, whatever you want to do. So I'm using black just because I think it's the most universal, but you can do the same thing with any color you want. I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Naked palette because it just has all the shadows I need. It's got black and brown. I'm going to be using Creep, which is a shimmery black, and then I'm basically going to be using Buck, Naked, and Virgin as transition colors and highlights. So the first thing you want to do is um, just pack your main shade all over your eyelid. For me, that's Creep, that's the black shade, so I'm just going to be packing that all over my lid space. And you see that shape I've made? I've made it a cat eye shape. So I've basically gone off the edge of my shield and kind of brought it in. Now I'm using the Buck, which is a mid-toned brown, as my first transition color. And this is just going to warm up the eye look. This really helps if you have pale skin. 
so that the black doesn't look so stark on your skin. But in general, brown tends to be a good transition color for any, um, any shade. So if you're doing, like I said, if you're doing purple, I, you know, the brown still works for that. So I should, always, I should probably zoom you guys in. Now I'm going to go in with Naked, which is just a little bit darker than my skin tone, and go over that to kind of keep the gradient going. And then lastly, I'm going to take a little bit of Virgin, which is just a highlight shade, and I'm going to pack that under my brow. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and start the fun part. I'm using black eyelash adhesive because my eyeshadow base is black. If your base is not black, you obviously want to use clear eyelash glue. And I'm just going to... And the other thing I'm going to be using is these nail art gems. I got mine, I think, off of... I want to say I got mine off of Amazon, but I don't... I don't remember. All right, so I've got just a little daughter tool and I'm going to place the eyelash glue and then use, using a pair of tweezers, I'm going to pick it up and place it on, place it on the glue. And now is where I turn on music and fast forward and you get to watch and I get to um, get going on this because these are actually pretty small, so. brush or just kind of smudge a brush kind of whatever I'm gonna take creep which is the black shade under my lash line and then I'm gonna use a little bit of buck mixed with naked to make a, a nice light brown to transition that to smoke it out kind of and of course We'll be using some black eyeliner. I'm going to be using my um, Milani black eyeliner. Just use whatever you have and lining my waterline and my upper lash line. And then I'm going to set that with creep so that it stays all night. I've got some cleanup to do. I'm going to do this eye and then I will come right back to you. And now let's finish the face. So I'm going to be a just Jean. She just wants to be in all my videos nowadays, huh? Use my NARS Laguna to warm up my face, which is looking a little extra pale from the dark eyeshadow. Um, I don't necessarily use Laguna because I think it's that great. I just am trying to use up something and since it's a small size, I was thinking it wouldn't last so long, but I mean, I'm just now starting to put a dent in this and I use it a lot. So I'm just con or, um, bronzing my usual places around the forehead, in the cheek area, and then the jawline and warming up my neck because my neck is always paler than the rest of my body. And then to actually contour my face, I'm going to use my NYX um, taupe blush and kind of a small fluffy brush and just get in there and get specific with it. All right. And then for blush, I'm going to use Milani Luminoso. 
um, because it's peach toned I think it'll help warm everything up bring life back to your face and it's also um, a little shimmery so I'm not gonna have to add an extra highlighter and since the eyes took so long I'm trying to keep the rest of the face kind of quick so just going to brush that on the cheeks Then, um, eyelashes. I almost forgot. I'm just going to swipe a coat of whatever mascara on just to make your eyelashes black. Top and bottom. And then grab your favorite eyelashes. I'm using, these aren't necessarily my favorite, but I just haven't used these in a while. I got these from Bitch Slap Cosmetics. They're number 47. And they are just the ones that I'm going to use today. The one thing I would suggest with lashes is don't use anything too big, otherwise you're going to cover up all the work you did on your eyelids. So I think this is just about as um, big and thick as you would want to go. But then again, it's all your personal preference. You don't have to listen to me. Because as far as I'm concerned, there are absolutely no rules in makeup. It's just whatever makes you happy. Alright, so that is the eyeshadow done on both eyes. This was way more tedious than I was expecting. So just a couple tr tips and tricks for me to you. And a lot. First of all, just don't even try to use black eyelash glue. It just, it, um, it transfers onto different parts of your eyelid. You have to try and take it off to keep your look looking clean. And it's just a mess. Just, I always try and find a use for black eyelash glue. I've yet to find one that I like. Um, second of all, for time purposes, um, you may want to get some bigger gems than the ones I did because this took quite a long time. So if you want your look to be um, full, full on gems, like all over the eye, no space in between, you're definitely going to want to get bigger gems. And um, a third tip, put on your fake eyelashes before you actually put on the gems because I had the hardest time getting my lashes in between the gems and my eye and trying to get it on there and it was just a pain and then oops I got some glue on one of the gems and it was just kind of a mess so if you have the chance um, put on your eyelashes before you actually do all the gems and lastly unfortunately this is probably a look you're gonna want to do a trial run with um, my second eye went a lot smoother than the first eye because I knew what I was doing. I was, you know, I got my technique down. I knew how I wanted to pick up the gems, how I wanted to put the glue down, what pattern I was using, all of those kind of things. Last step is the lips. So I'm going to go for a nude lip just because the eyes are so bold. Let's keep the focus on them. Plus, I don't know what it is about New Year's, but I just kind of associate it with a nude lip. So I am using my... NYX Retractable Lip Liner in Nude. Now I'm going to put on my favorite nude, which is Napoleon uh, Pertis Hess, but if you've seen my dupes video, there are multiple dupes for this lipstick. Mac Blankety, um, Fergie Daily, and Essence Creamy Nude or something like that. But you can just check out my dupes video. The reason I'm choosing this too is it's fairly matte, so it will have good staying power and you don't want to be having to touch up your makeup all night. You've got more important things to worry about on New Year's Eve. Alright guys, this is my finished New Year's Eve punk rock glamour kind of look. I hope you guys like it and if you try it definitely Instagram me about it. Uh, I'll have my Instagram information down below because I would love to see your guys' interpretation on this 
and I hope you guys have a wonderful rockin' New Year's Eve. Make sure you're safe, and I will see you in the new year. Bye.